Hello and welcome to CVR English Rams and these are the top updates. Justice Thiru Singh Thakur on Friday took oath as Chief Justice of the Andhra Pradesh High Court State. State Governor S. Abdul Nazir administrated the oath to Justice Thakur, who is the sixth Chief Justice of the High Court. Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy, Cabinet members, Leader of Opposition and Chandra Babu Naitu, High Court judges and other senior officials attended the ceremony. The central government had recently appointed Justice Thakur, a judge of Bombay High Court, as the Chief Justice of Andhra Pradesh High Court. He succeeded Justice Prashant Kumar Mishra who has been elevated as a judge of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court Collegium had recommended on July 5 that Justice Thakur be appointed as the Chief Justice of Andhra Pradesh High Court. The office of the Chief Justice fell Kent on May 19 consequent upon the elevation of Justice Maharashtra. Justice Thakur completed his LLB from Jammu University and joined the legal profession in 1989. He was enrolled as an advocate on the roles of Bar Council of Delhi. His enrollment was transferred to Bar Council of Jammu and Kashmir in 2010. He was appointed a judge of the Jammu and Kashmir High Court in 2013. In June 2022, he was transferred to the Bombay High Court where he was the senior most judge. The Andhra Pradesh High Court was established by a presidential order post bifurcation on January 1st, 2019. Heavy rains continue to lash Andhra Pradesh, Telangana. Flood water on national highways in many areas, motorists struggling with traffic. Traffic on Hyderabad Vijayawada National Highway stopped. The Muneru stream is in spate. From Kisara toll gate in Krishna district towards Vijayawada. Traffic stopped for 2 kilometers. Traffic stopped at Ethavaram due to flood surge. Monar is currently flooded with 1,92,000 houses of water. Officials expect, expect it is increase further division of vehicles through alternative routes on national highway passengers who are in dire straits.
Baik, 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 The rains in the Telugu states do not seem to stop now. Due to the tensile rains, the streams and streams were all overflowing. Many low-lying areas were invaded. On the other hand, the low-pressure area over West Central Bay of Bengal adjoining North Coastal Andhra South Odisha coast in gradually straightening. Due to the torrential rains, all the streams and rivulets are already overflowing. Many low-lying areas were inundated. The Meteorological Department has issued a red alert for several districts in the Telugu states. However, in Telangana, heavy rains continue to wreak havoc. Several districts heavy have already been receiving heavy rains for the past five to six days. Overflowing streams and cut-off roads have brought traffic to a standstill. With this, the Meteorological Department has announced red, orange and yellow. A total of three types of alerts have been issued. That's it, heavy to heavy rainfall is likely to occur in seven districts today. The Telangana government has also declared a holiday for educational institutions today and tomorrow in the wake of heavy rains. The Meteorological Department has issued various kinds of alerts to some districts. A red alert has been issued for Khammam, Nalgonda, Suryapet, Mahbubabad, Jangaon, Siddipet, Yadadri, Bhuvanagri and Hyderabad, Nizamabad, Badatri, Kotamgudem, Varangal, Hanamkonda, Rangaradi, Manchal, Malkaj, Kuri, Vikarabad, Sangaradi, Medak and Kama Reddy are on orange alert. 15 districts on yellow alert Nirmal, Jagtyal, Rajanna, Sirsila, Karimnagar, Pedapalli, Jashankar, Bhupalpalli, Mulugu, Mahbubnagar, Adilabad, Kumra Bhim, Mancherial, Vanaparthi, Narayan Pet, Jogulamba, Gudavala, and Nagar Karnul. In AP2, the streams are overflowing due to heavy rains in AP. Roads are getting floated. The rivers Godavari and Krishna are in spate. Traffic to many villages have come to a standstill. Heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely to occur in north coastal Andhra Pradesh districts of Vishakhapatnam. Vizanagram 
Srikakulam, Manyam, Alluri and Anakapalli districts during the next 24 hours. East Godavari, Kakinata, Iluru, West Godavari, Krishna, NTR, Guntur, Bapatla, Palanadu, Prakasham and Nellore districts of South Coastal Andhra Pradesh are also likely to receive widespread rainfall. Light to widespread rainfall is also likely to occur the many places in Rayalaseema district. A red alert has been issued for Palanadu, NTR, Kurnul, Nandial, PG and Aluri districts. The Meteorological Department has advised people to remain vigilant. Heavy rains continue to lash Andhra Pradesh. Telangana flowed water on national highways in many areas. Motorists struggling with traffic. Traffic on Hyderabad Vijaywada National Highway stopped the Moneru Vagu Krishna district in speed from Kisara toll gate towards Vijaywada. Traffic stopped for 2 kilometers. Traffic stopped at Ethavaram due to flood. The Munnar is currently flooded with 1,92,000 cases of water. Officials expert, expert it to increase further diversion of vehicles, though alternative routes on national highway passengers who are in dire straits. Hyderabad has been reeling under intent rains for the past few days. Roads in the city were floated. The government and officials are on high alert. Efforts are being made to prevent loss of life and property. The Meteorological Department has issued a warning that heavy rainfall is likely to occur in Hyderabad. Today as well, Minister KTR today reviewed the flood situation in Mosi River at Musa Rambag. KTR called upon the BRS cadres to stand by them participate in the relief work carried out in the flooded areas, distribution of essential commodities and other assistance should be provided to the people. The government is trying to recitify the situation and the party 
healthcare trust should stand by the government machinery and the people. Katia said that CMKCR is consistently review, reviewing the heavy rains in the state. Our main aim is to ensure that there is no loss of life. He suggested that the opposition party should give up politics and take up programs that will benefit the people who are suffering due to heavy rains. On the other hand, Telangana is railing under heavy rains due to the incident rains streams and streams are overflowing. Due to heavy rains in the combined Varangal district, fruit water is overflowing on the roads. Jashankar, Bhupalpalli districts, Murnal Chapali river overflowed and the entire village was flooded. The Medram Samakka Sar Sarlama Temple, which is a popular temple in the Telugu states, has been submerged in water. Heavy flood water is entering the village. In this background, today Minister KTR will visit the flood hit areas of Varangal. <laughs> The Godavari River will continue to be flooded due to heavy rains in Maharashtra as well as the state in upper reaches. The water level in Godavari is steadily rising as about 2 lakh houses of water from the Tiluperu project is flowing into the river due to flood water from the Chhattisgarh forest area. More than 100 villages in Bhadrachalam and Munkur agency areas have been inundated due to the fury of Godavari River at Bahadra Chalam. The river flows at dangerous level. The authorities issued a second flood alert at 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday as the river was flowing beyond the water level of 48 feet. A second warning is currently underway there. Official said the water level of Godavari at Bhadrachalam this morning was 50-50 feet. At present, 12,86,136 courses of flood water is continuing there. Bhadrachalam Rama Temple premises Vista Complex area, Annadanam, Staram and Kalyana Mandapam areas were also flooded. Road transport from Bhadrachalam to hundreds of villages in Dumu Gagadam and Chalala Mandals has come to a standstill due to overflowing of flood water in Gangulu village in 
Dumugu them Kudunuru and our Kotha Kudem village of Cherla Mandal. Officials have urged people on the other both sides of the Godavari River to take adequate precautions. District Collector Dr. Priyanka Alla said people should postpone their travel and stay at home as streams and ponds across the district are overflowing. A red alert has been sounded in the district from Wednesday in view of the torrential rains. He said roads in seven low-laying areas were closed. One NDRF team is available at Dumugudem and to more at Chirla from the rescue operation. Around 40 families at Chirla have been shifted to the relief center. Police are constantly on standby for rescue operations besides evacuating people to safer places, he said.
Yadadri Bhuvanagri district is witnessing heavy rains. With this, the Mosi River flows rapidly. With this, Bodan Pochampali Mandal in Juluru, the flooded water goes on the level bridge. Due to this, traffic to Pochampali and Bibinagar Mandals has been suspended for the past five days. Villagers and villagers are demanding that the bridge be constructed immediately. When the Telangana government came to power, he promised to build a bridge here. Now the villagers are angry that there is no one who cares for the area. Jolur village Madhi, Pochampali Mandalu, Yadavari Jilla. Mare ikara Moosi Parivar ka pranta midi. Mare gatamlo asal inno matlo village staman chepu gora inno prabhutal chepi nai. Mare tiyaras hotchin darva ta gora main village nirmis staman chepu gora ma karoj bhagdan jeen dar gindi. Mare kanisam chya hotchin a prabhutam hotchin darva ta oka nalla la shariya staman chepi ro ka samathran ki mala shariya staman chepi tender ei shiru tender ei shita vatan alu samathran darva ta gora a jinta vara ko ye nirupiya ko mugle do mala ka is a pillar elevator ro elevator darva ta mala dhan kyaas jee shashi mala tender jee shiru mala tender jee shama mala dhan ya well, that was the wrap-up bulletin for more news and updates. Keep watching CVR English with Sinner.